Space Space has always been a big and mysterious place. Humans are curious from centuries about the mysteries it engulfs within. We live in the modern age, but there are still many things out in our solar system waiting to get discovered by us. Such a clue was found in 2008. Let's get into it in a disciplined and detailed manner. October 6, 2008 Astronomers found the first asteroid on a certain collision course with Earth. October 7, 2008 Observing the 4 meter long rock hurtled towards the planet at a speed of 12.8 kilometers per second and then exploding in the sky 37 kilometers above the Nubian desert in Sudan with the energy of 0.9 to 2.1 kilotons of TNT. The Times reported that the meteor's light was so intense that it lit up the sky like a full moon and an airliner 1400 kilometers away reported seeing the bright flash. A webcam captured the flash lighting up Algona Beach, 725 km north of the explosion. The search of the impact zone that began on December 6, 2008 turned up 10.5 kg of rock in some 600 fragments. This meteoroid, collectively named Almahata Sita, which means Station 6, and is a train station between Wadi Halfa and Khartoum, Sudan. At the time, it was unclear whether the blast leave anything but dust behind. But a team of scientists and volunteers has managed to recover fragments of the 80-ton asteroid called 2008 TC3 during several searches that began in December. Samples of the Almahata Sita meteorite was sent for analysis to a consortium of researchers led by Janiskins. The Almahata Sita Consortium, including NASA Ames in California, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the Carnage Institute of Washington, and Fordham University in New York City. The first sample measured was an anomalous ultra fine grained, porous polymeshit uralite achondrite with large carbonaceous grains. More recently, in December 2020, further studies on the fragments have been reported. The studies revealed an extremely rare form of hydrated crystals in a fragment called AHS-202, known as amphibol, suggesting to the researchers that 2008 TC3 early on likely belonged to a very large, serious class dwarf planet. The mineral makeup of this space rocks offers clues about the parent asteroid that birthed a given meteor, researchers said in a statement. Some of these meteoroids are dominated by minerals providing evidence for exposure to water at low temperatures and pressures. Study co-author Vicky Hamilton, a planetary geologist at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado, said in the statement, the composition of other meteoroids points to heating in the absence of water. The team analyzed a teensy 50 mg samples of AHS under a microscope and found it had a unique mineral makeup. The meteoroid harbored an unusual suit of minerals that form at intermediate temperatures and pressures higher than 
what you would find in a typical asteroid but lower than the inside of a planet. One mineral in particular, amphibole, also requires prolonged exposure to water to develop. This is what makes this discovery even more exciting as it indicates that the origin of the asteroid has a huge amount of water reserves. Amphibole is common enough on Earth, but it's only appeared once before in trace amounts in a meteoroid known as Allende, the largest carbonaceous chondrite ever found which fell in Chihuahua, Mexico in 1969. The high amphibole content of AHS suggests the fragment broke off a parent asteroid that's never left meteoroids on Earth before. And samples brought back from the asteroids Ryugu and Bennu by Japan's Hayabusa 2 and NASA's Osiris-Rex probes respectively will likely reveal more space rock minerals that rarely turn up in meteoroids the researchers wrote in their study. Maybe some types of carbonaceous chondrite just don't survive the plunge through the atmosphere as well, Hamilton said, and that kept scientists from studying a flavor of chondrite that might be more common in space. We think that there are more carbonaceous chondrite materials in the solar system than are represented by our collections of meteoroids, she said. Researchers in the US have found that the asteroid named 2008 TC3 that exploded in the atmosphere of the Earth in 2008 was part of a space rock that contained water. The new discovery was made when researchers analyzed a fragment of Almahata Sita meteorite reported Daily Mail. This incident meant that there are still some sort of big rocky bodies in our solar system waiting to get discovered. Until then, we can sit and sip a cup of coffee.